We want to perform the division and write the answer as a simplified fraction or mixed number. When we have division by a fraction, we write the division problem as a multiplication problem, where dividing by c over d is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal of d over c. Once we have the multiplication problem, we multiply like we normally would. So we first have three-fifths divided by two-ninths. Well, dividing by two-ninths is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal of nine-halves. So we can write this as three-fifths times nine-halves. Now before we multiply, we want to see if there are any common factors between the numerators and denominators. In this case, there are not, so we multiply. Three times nine is 27, and five times two is 10. So this fraction does not simplify, but it is an improper fraction, so let's convert it to a mixed number. 27 tenths means 27 divided by 10. There are two tens in 27, two times 10 is 20. We subtract, we have a remainder of seven, which means 27 tenths is equal to two and seven tenths. Next we have three divided by one third. Let's write three as a fraction. So three is equivalent to three over one. And then we have divided by one third. Well dividing by one third is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal of three over one. So we have three over one times three over one. Again, nothing simplifies. Multiplying, we have three times three are nine over one times one is one. Well, nine divided by one is just nine. So our quotient is nine. The reason this answer is nine is because three divided by one third is asking us how many one thirds are there in three, and there are nine one thirds in three. Next, we have a quotient involving mixed numbers. So we'll begin by writing the mixed numbers as improper fractions. So we'll have a denominator of four for the first fraction, a denominator of 12 for the second fraction. The numerator of the first fraction is going to be four times six plus three, that's 24 plus three or 27. The second fraction would have a numerator of 12 times seven plus 11. 12 times seven is equal to 84. 84 plus 11 is equal to 95. Dividing by 95 twelfths is equivalent to multiplying by 12 95ths. So we'll write this as 27 fourths times 12 95ths. Before multiplying, we want to look for common factors between the numerators and denominators. Notice how four and 12 share a common factor of four. There's one four and four and three fours and 12. Now we'll go ahead and multiply. 27 times three is equal to 81, and one times 95 equals 95. This does not simplify, so this is our quotient. 81 95ths. For our last example, we have 1 8th times 2 thirds divided by 5 6. Here we're dividing by 5 6 which is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal of six-fifths. So let's write this as one-eighth times two-thirds times six-fifths. Now before multiplying, we want to simplify. Notice two and eight share a common factor of two. There's one, two, and two, and four twos and eight. Notice here, three and six share a common factor of three. There's one, three, and three, and two threes and six. Notice here we have a common factor between the two here and the four here. There's one, two, and two, and two twos and four. So now we multiply. Our numerator is one times one times one, which is one. The denominator is two times one times five, which equals 10. This simplifies to one-tenth. I hope you found this helpful.